The country has recorded 37 new deaths in coronavirus in last 24 hours. With this, country's COVID-19 death toll has risen to 1,582. A number of 3,462 new COVID-19 cases detected in the same period of time. So far, the total number of confirmed cases in the country now stands at 1,22,616. In last 24 hours, 16,433 samples have been tested and 6,60,444 samples have been tested so far. From the test, 3,462 have been tested positive in last 24 hours. With these, 1,22,660 have been tested positive so far. 2,031 people have been recovered in last 24 hours. Till now, 49,666 people have recovered and 37 people have died in last 24 hours. 1,582 people have died so far. State Minister for Power and Energy Nusrul Hamid has expressed regret over the excess electricity bill. He also said that due to the negligence of some officials at the field level, the incident happened. The State Minister assured that the bill would be adjusted in local power office. The mistake has been made due to the distribution. In some places, they charged excessive bill instead of average bill, and several times I said it was mistake. Our distribution companies are working to solve the problem. This year's Hajj money will be refunded from 12th July. Hajj pilgrims will be able to get their money back without service charge. However, everyone has to apply online. Hub President M. Shahadat Hussain Taslim confirmed the information to DBC News. The decision was taken at the online interministerial meeting. At the end of the meeting, it was informed that if the pilgrims want to withdraw money by cancelling their registration in the private Hajj management, they have to apply online through the Hajj agency. Subject to the approval of the ministry, a person can withdraw the money deposited through the agency or bank. This, this year, 3,457 people registered under government management and 61,137 under private management. But due to the corona pandemic, Saudi Arabia will perform Hajj on a limited scale with the citizens of Saudi Arabia and other countries residing in that country. As all government departments, including law enforcement agencies, are focused on preventing coronavirus spread, victims of domestic violence, women and children are not getting enough support, claimed human rights workers. The situation has worsened as even NGO frontliners are not able to make face-to-face -face interactions during the pandemic, they said. They also claimed as the victims are unable to get legal assistance, the accused are getting rid of their offenses. Statistics of various private organizations show, despite normal offenses decreased during the corona outbreak, violence incidents increased against women and children. Statistics of police headquarters also suggest, although the general officers' offenses decreased in last three months rape, women and children repression did not lessen that amount. Human rights workers urge the authorities concerned to increase the capacities of hotline 109 and make hotline 999 more effective. Coronavirus pandemic has proved not only Bangladesh or Myanmar will be the victims of climate change, but also other nations will be fall victims of it. Along with the economic losses, education and researchers will also see an irreparable loss in other countries around the world. This pandemic is an eye-opener for all of us to review and reflect that if global warming goes up above 1.5 degrees centigrade, then it's not only Bangladesh, Maldives or Kiribati that will suffer. Its claws may inundate the financial hub of Boston, the learning centers of Harvard or MIT and the resorts of Florida, many cities and towns that we are so proud of may not exist at all for our future generations. 
Dhaka North City Corporation Mayor Atikul Islam has said that the lockdown will be implemented as soon as instructions are received from the Ministry of Health. He said this at the inaugural function of Joe Bike's Ride Sharing Program in Gulshan in this morning. The mayor said that all preparations were made for the lockdown, the areas marked as red zones of Dhaka North City Corporation. Dhaka North City Corporation will take all necessary steps to implement the directive from the Ministry of Health and local government. Inaugurating the ride-sharing service, the mayor said residents of Gulshan, Baridhara and Bonani areas will get this riding facility. He said there is no alternative to bike and bicycle ride to build a clean and pollution-free Dhaka city. He called upon all to come forward as it reduces carbon emissions and reduces environmental pollution. This service is now active at 22 places in the city. I would request all to come ahead to maintain social distancing by using this cycle. Let's use this cycle to make a carbon-free city. To keep ourselves fit and save the environment, let's use this cycle. It is beneficial to our next generation as well. The General Directorate of Saudi Passports announced on Tuesday that expatriate residents abroad will not be permitted to return to the kingdom until after the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. In a series of tweets, the passport authority said no entry for expat residents until the end of the pandemic. No one is allowed to return till the end of the coronavirus pandemic crisis and the decision on return will be announced officially and under a valid entry visa. In case a resident is outside the kingdom, the mechanism for extending the exit and return visa will be announced through official channels after the end of the coronavirus pandemic crisis, the authority added. That's all for now. For more news, visit tvcnews.tv and visit our YouTube and Facebook. Thank you for being with us.